Oh, lovely. That'll be a boundary. Right in his arc. He leans into it. Pakistan going along nicely in the second innings. It's... He knows his game. He knows his game all right, Abid Ali. He knows where he can play those shots. So easy. Leaning into it. Well, it's good there. That's a flick and beautifully paced. Oh, just didn't go hard to stop that one, Lahiru. So it's not necessarily that Sri Lanka are bowling a wrong line. They're bowling the line that they bowled in the first innings. But the ball's not swinging. It's going on with the angle and it's ending up on the pad. So they've got to make that adjustment. Oleg buys. Runs are leaking. Sri Lanka a little indisciplined here. Drives again, no swing, just a swing at the bat. Abid Ali. Looking a million dollars, long throw, the batsman taking them on. Four, nicely deflected. More runs, Pakistan. Got that lead down to 49 as a 31 for no loss. It's not bad, that's a nice bit of aggression here. Swatted away here from uh, Abad Ali. Down on one knee. See that they have come out very positively, looking to pounds on opportunities. Straight away he knew where his spot was, didn't really see too much of turn. That was pushed through a little bit shorter from uh, the left arm stick. Again, a touch shot, punched. Shan Masu's looking good. He's certainly gaining in confidence. Goes into the 20s with that boundary. In fact, he's 19, beg your pardon. Now the run rate uh, over fours, it's 4.15. Yeah, and that'll uh, make Shan Masood feel a lot better. Taking his time. But the strike right now is up over the 50 percent. That is uh, impressive, really is. The uh, 50 partnership with the total in the second inning goes to 53, but that'll feel real sweet for uh, Abad Ali. He looks so good, particularly forcing shots off the back foot. This gets into his full height. Looks to go deep in the crease. Very comfortable, particularly when he plays off the back foot. Uh, orthodox point in mid off on the offside. A little feel into the hands. Didn't carry, but they'll uh, pick up a comfortable two. That's nicely uh, played. So Masuda won't go to the fence. He'll punch into the covers for a brace. He's got a little too straight here. He saw the other one that had zipped back in, but it was a better length and line. This one's too straight. Gets punished as Fernando. Although it's not completely middle, but it's timed so well that it's gone to the fence. It's the leg side where he likes it, and that's just angled towards there. Uh, got too straight there. But, uh, little race away for four. You can see why Fernando, you look at those highlights of that hundred, you can see why he's come around to change it up. Does not want to be cut to pieces again. So he's trying to change things up. Left arm round. A bit like that stroke. Got to be a gorgeous Gora. Recover. 
They do come back, and there's a half century to Abad Ali to go with his 100 in that first test match in Pindi. He played, sir. And the strike rate almost 72. Gets it down to third man. That's an area that Shan Masood is a little bit vulnerable. Tends to push at deliveries outside the off stump, but very strong off his pads. And the Sri Lankans last evening were very straight and more on the pads. But this one, a little bit uppish, but in that gap. What a shot. I think slightly inward into the right-hander. And he went wide or mid on. Perfect shot. The adjustment was made by Abidali. He is in very good form. Well, actually, there was a cry of anguish from the bowler because he felt he had deceived the batsman with a little bit of inslant angle. But have a look at the response. Magnificently struck because that's such a difficult angle to execute and get the ball through. Good shot. Excellent use of the feet. Brings up the 100. Shan Masood is a tall lad. And that tells you his confidence level. One, two, three. And away she went. Bang. Forceful hit. Went a mile. Nicely executed. Opened the front leg so that he could get the full swing of the bat through the line. Just covers that and drives through extra cover. Got his foot across, covered whatever turn that he was attempting to get. This is excellent batting. 11 runs off the over. Down the wicket. Now that's classy batting. Inside the line, opened up that offside. Well, he's gone for half a dozen here off the blade. Yeah, sweetly. Well, the batsman's doing everything right. Bit on the shortish side, previous over. Bit of argy bargy. Nothing's deterring Abidali. It's not a half volley by any stretch. That's a wonderful stroke on the charge. You look at it. Yeah, that isn't a half volley. It's a wonderful stroke. Nice, another boundary probably, leaning into it. Abidali looking good, Abidali racing away. So he's uh, gone more half volley there, he's looked to go full and maybe search on off stump, look for the LBW. You only have to be slightly off, it's tailed in a bit, yes. Hammered. Was uncomfortable with the bouncer a little while ago, Shan Masood. The difference in this, slightly outside his eye line. Driven through extra cover. Just a touch over pitched. And when you don't spin, when you're not spinning it back at the right hander, you don't create that doubt. So you cover the line. The pace of the pitch might have quietened down, but the pace of the bat is certainly going. Abidali, strike rate over 70. In the gap. The 150 is up. A rare time that the outside edge has been found. Yeah, genuine edge, but almost would have carried to a wide fourth slip. It goes down two third man to the fence. Run rate 4.18 from Pakistan. That's going down to third man for another boundary. No, oh. no. Wishful thinking. Well stopped on the boundary. Slog sweep. Gone for six. 
Abed Ali's clock sweep goes the distance. Been very, very good against the fast bowlers, but against the spinners, he's completely at home. That's gone again. He's taking to the sweep shot now. Something that we didn't see from the Pakistan batsman in the first innings. But now they're looking to sweep the spinner. The slog sweep first and now the conventional sweep. In fact, that's another slog sweep. Avid Ali has not let Emil Dinia settle at all. He's always looking for that big shot over the leg side plus the fact that is very quick to get onto the back foot. On to 92. He wants his 100 before lunch. Oh, still beats that fielder there. This time, it's the front foot drive. On 97. Three balls in line with the stumps, and look at this, how wide it is. That is a free hit. That's Abid Ali's strength. Around the corner. Raises his bat up in the air. It's another 100 for magnificent Abid Ali. Abid Ali, Pakistan's new hero. First Pakistan batsman to score 100 in each of his first two tests. Of course, there's eight others who have done it in world cricket. And the crowd, they waited a long time for a moment like this. And Boudinia in the deep. You will come across him quite often. That shot and gone. He's a good, strong player, so he may not have hit a lot of sixes at the domestic level but boy is he liking it here in test cricket edge but four that's 200 the partnership it showed moment of 172 here against new zealand but of course come on danny morrison bowling yeah i was dead easy no problems whatsoever and there it is Shan Masood second test match hundred he's threatened for a while in test match cricket but boy what a relief for him three figures he has reached against his favorite side both hundreds against Sri Lanka both in the second innings this one coming in the opening partnership with Abid Ali. Down the wicket. That's a good option because there is no man on the boundary anyway. He just went all the way. The key, as you kept saying, was get to the pitch and then just that free swing. But he's got to understand the value of this innings and understand the value of getting 100 and, and get a big one. He's got to remind himself of that scenario. That's a fine. Played it very late. Allowed the ball to come to him and then almost completed the shot as it passed him to make sure that he got it fine. It, there was a man square, but what he played it so late. Is there an angle that he's not good against or good at? It was swept so well. Doesn't give the give you the impression at all that he's playing a second test match. And that's the thing that I like about him, his confidence and self-belief. Pretty new and you could say lack of um, experience. But all they're experiencing now is running behind those balls. If Dilran Pereira continues to bowl these lengths. It's just too easy for a man batting on 128. Cuts it away. Waited perfectly for that delivery. Ooh. 
Lead 196. It's only the second instance where the openers have scored more runs than the first innings total. The first one was 1958 Barbados. First innings, Pakistan bowled out for 106. Then 152 run opening stand between Halif Muhammad and Imtiaz Ahmed. An opportunity. There's the wicket. Lairu Kumara gets the breakthrough for Sri Lanka. The short ball, Shan Masood taking it on. Surprise, surprise. Sri Lanka get a wicket. Opening stand of 278 broken. Shan Masood for once. Not getting over that pull shot. Pulls it in the air. Kumara gets a wicket, Sri Lanka gets some relief, but what an innings from Shan Masood. 135, home test in Karachi, opening partnership of 278 as Pakistan lose their first one. Yep, who needs singles when you can play shots like that? Off the mark with a wonderful straight drive as a rally. Azar on his way. Boundary just before T and he follows that up with this. Confidence growing. He's taken the angle. Outside leg stump. T is over. Why are they serving pies as yet? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, fair call, Russell Arnold. He's flighted that one a bit more. So beautifully played from the captain, Azza, through extra cover. Plenty half volleys dished out. Strong wrists. We'll give them a couple. in fact gets to his 150 is making the headlines Abid Ali new star on the horizon a purple patch he's got to enjoy the moment they rise to him and why not and good to see Mizba smiling. I don't think he's been smiling a lot these days. Bairu Kumara didn't find, pick that up. On the pads. Timing top class. Seeing that ball like a football. It was flying to the boundary. Two men in the deep. Both didn't move. Is that the third boundary of the over? Yes, it is. Hammered. While they go find the ball, the players will have a drink. 3.45 for one. We like that. He liked that right underneath the eye and he leans into it. Top shot, 350 on the board for Pakistan. Azar Ali batting well is when he's hitting down the ground and driving well and that's one of his best. Holds the pose, long half volley but dismisses it straight back down the ground. Holds the pose, says Bazid. The last thing Sri Lankans wanted to see is it was Barbarazam at the crease. 355 runs on the board. Average now in the 40s. His career in test cricket is upwardly mobile. What a shot that is. Barbarazam showing his class. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's lift it another gear through cover. 
solidly hit. Easily done. Have a look at the balance. Beautifully balanced. That's the other thing that is so likable about him. And that shot, the sweep shot, didn't allow him to settle. Azra Ali goes for the parallel sweep, not the slog sweep, but the result is a boundary. Chat around that uh, possibly this young fella could maybe come left arm over, just restrict, change the angle, get it to rip across, and then you set your field accordingly to stop that sort of stroke. Wrist to the four. For four more. It'll swing back, but flicked away. Didn't even take a step. He knew that's racing away to the fence. Having a little knock. Early morning. Throw down stuff. A little bit of movement in. Once again. Easy for both these right handers to lean on that. Oh dear. Oh, lovely soft hands. Beautifully played by the skipper. Cut shot, a little bit of width. That's well timed, beautifully placed as well. He's looking good today, Azar Ali, as was the case yesterday as well. He's grown in confidence. And as we see. Before we see him, you could see that uh, his range comes out. He's now looking very good. He's go going very hard, square of the wicket. This shot has been profitable. He's beaten the field with a mere touch. Way now, the another look, just a very fine pedal. The boundary. Straight past the bowler. He's into the 90s. He's getting there, Azhar Ali. Got it through mid on. Four more. He's racing along. Who says the 90s are nervous? Couple of lovely shots, one that straight mid on drive, and then this late cut, getting it past the slip cordon, middle it. Saw the ball come and hit the bat. That's the secret of how you time the ball square. Ball. Three fours now. 98. Credit has to be given to Azar Ali because. He had to get it absolutely right. There's a slip and a gully in place. Expertly played. Pass point. Will this be his hundred? He is coming back for his second, and that is his hundred. His 16th test century, first as captain, and first at home, obviously, and his sixth test hundred versus Sri Lanka. Continues to learn, but pumped off the back foot. Lairu Kumara just dragging it. Not the quickest he would have bowled. That just uh, pumped it between extra cover and mid off. Inside edge, everything going for Pakistan. Well, on his day, on your day, you can't do anything wrong. On a bad day, he could have easily dragged it on, but not to be. We did see a sweep shot that was perfectly placed once, some time ago, between the batsman's legs. And this one, almost behind the keeper. It's been two days where everything has gone Pakistan's way. front of square this time another boundary it's raining boundaries 
Barber's racing along. He's got 14 runs in the over. He's raced to 91. Three on the trot. Short ball. And he's pulled it way in front of square and it's raced away to the fence. He's wanting a second, running aggressively. He'll come well, the mobile phones are magnificent. They're able to capture this important moment. Already on 99. And that's the 100. Quick single. Listen to the roar. His fourth 100 in Test cricket. Third in last four. And it is the second time in Test that the top four have got hundreds in the same innings. The previous thing happened in 2007 when India played Bangladesh in Dhaka and Pakistan have just emulated it. What a magnificent performance. And just like that, a little dab into the offside, 